The Blob Brush and 3D Coats Voxel Sculpting Tool Set may seem a little too simple to be very useful when you first start working with it, but after some experimentation, you're probably going to find that you can be quite creative with it. So let's go ahead and take a look at it by going to the E panel, and the first thing you're going to notice is that all the brush draw modes are grayed out. The only thing you can use are shapes. I'm going to stick with the circular draw mode. I can either create a shape onto the surface of an existing model, or I can drag out in 3D space. The shape of it is largely dependent upon your radius. So let's reduce that down to about three. If I drag out in space again, about the same size, it's quite a bit different. Now let's go to a side view, and you'll notice two different things. One is, it's very skewed, and that's because we're in perspective view, and 3D Coat is projecting it from the camera. The other thing you're going to notice is the thickness. We did not make any adjustments to the depth. It was simply the brush radius. And you may notice how it cut off the ends on the front and the back side. Likewise here, I think we had a radius close to 10. So... If I were to create a smaller sphere out in space, it's almost perfectly cylindrical except for the perspective distortion. So allow me to undo a few times. I'm going to go to an orthographic view so that it removes all the perspective distortion by hitting the 5 key on the number pad. Alternatively, you could click on the cube. I'll go to a front view by hitting the 2 key on the number pad. And now when I drag out in space, we have practically a perfect sphere. Let's create a new layer. I'm going to give it some resolution. I'll go back to a front view. I can ghost the original. Go back to a front view. If I were to go further beyond 10, it will get clipped, as you can see here. The radius is the most important parameter in this tool. Smoothing does not affect it, and it does not respect brush alphas. Let's look at different border types. You have a plain border. A sharp border. I'll create it large. And then smaller, you can see the difference. Okay, so I'm going to clear everything off of that layer. And let's use the cutoff tool to delete that. Okay, so let's go back to the blob brush. One nice thing you can do with this is use the on plane functionality to quickly block out your rough forms. So let's say I were wanting to build this lip area. I could use on plane function to set exactly how it's oriented. You might not notice a plane. That's because I draw plane sizes at zero. Let's increase that just a little bit. And now we can see it. You can also adjust it with your bracket keys. If I right click here, you can see how that changes. I can move it toward the camera or away from the camera based on the incremental value I have listed here. If I were to hit the plus key on the number pad, it's gonna go further away and minus will come back closer to the camera. Now, if I wanted to use something like the polygonal lasso, That allows me to quickly define that shape. This time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose a different method to determine the location and the orientation of the plane. So I can do that by three points, or I could set it along one of these uh, default axis planes. But in this case, three points will work. I've already done that previously, but we can redo it by clicking on the pick button for the red and just continue doing it. For the others, if 
Let's uncheck on plane to remove that. And that's when you could use something like the fill brush to start making this look more like the lip area on a mouth. Hold on the control key. Hold on the shift key to smooth. And I do believe that will conclude this overview of the Blob tool in 3D Coast Voxel Sculpting Toolset. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.